If you call like a Santa Pila, I would not 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 Is Mr. Ryan in? He's sleeping. Yeah, he'll be needing all the rest he can get. Big shoes to fill, eh? Mm, he must be devastated, poor thing. Now, look, we wanted to get the funeral, but... It's... We had other arrangements. Oh, this is for him. Oh. <laughs> Careful, it's shoo, shoo Probably easier for your hands than mine. <laughs> so, anyway, just tell him that Gregory and Denise Watson Gave it to him. Do, do you want to write that down, Sissy? Um, I have to go, I, but I will tell him that you were here. Okay. Hello. Uh, hello? Hello. Ryan? Mrs. Hartford. Doris? Doris, get, get off the phone. Ryan? I'm here. How are you, Mrs. Hartford? Oh, we'll get on to that in a bit. How are you doing? And those guinea fowl are just... They nevels. Shame, you know that he lost a testicle to cancer, eh? How can I help you? Well, Alice Falcon... ...is causing serious problems for our community. What? Well, you, you must have noticed her. She's... she's... <laughs> she's rather tan. Mrs. Hartford, I've hardly slept since I've been back. Again, those guinea fowl are just... Please, let's not harp on about those guinea fowl. We need to be decisive. Yeah, it's just, it's just, it's just saying, you know, it's been a tough time for me. For me too. Knowing that we're soon going to be living with the... Blacks on our doorstep. What? Alice Falcon is selling her house to... To Blacks. We need to be decisive. Look, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a very progressive woman. It, it's just that it, it's going to be a disaster for property prices. Especially yours, living so close to her. Really? Ron, I really think that you can stop her. Me? Your father always said that he hoped that you would, would join our community watch. He did? Yeah, yeah, he still had great faith in you, despite your failed marriage. What do you want me to do? She lives at, at number 36. Find out what you can. You're a handsome guy, and she's always been a little bit forward, so... Uh, Charm her. Find out everything that you can. Buy me a little time. Uh, put in an offer. This just sounds kind of dodgy. 
It is not dodgy. Yeah, I just, I don't think Look, I can... Look, I, I don't have the time now. Look, I'm looking forward to seeing you at your first meeting on Community Watch. Mrs. Hartford? Can I help you? Hi. I, uh, I saw your for sale sign. I thought I'd take a look. Oh, sorry, this house is good as sold. Ah, uh, just my luck. Are you looking for a house in the area? Yeah. Yeah, I'm desperate to find a place. And I'm driving around in this heat, just... I can imagine. Oh, well, I tried. Thanks, anyway. Well, why not come in and have a look anyway? I could pour you a glass of orange juice. Really? Finish your cigarette, I can wait. Uh, I don't smoke. Please mind the mess. I really wasn't expecting to show the house to any more people. How long ago was it sold? Well, technically, it isn't sold yet. Devon, para por cinco minutos, por favor, filho. It isn't? Well, no, an offer's been made. It isn't ideal, but I think I'll go for it. That's a pity. You know, I'd, I wouldn't accept anything less than, you know, lots for a place like this. You live here alone? It's just me and my son right now. We're moving to Canada. Doesn't it snow in Canada? I believe it does. Sorry, I didn't get your name. Ryan. Ryan Murray. Murray? It rings a bell. Actually, it's pronounced Murray. It's Australian. Uh, Ryan, are you interested? Very. In the house? No. I thought it was sold. Not yet. I'm willing to look at a better offer. Difficult buyers. Well, I just want a little bit more than what they're willing to spend. And by they, you mean... Mum, it's time for some apartness. I don't want to be late again. Oh, sorry, I've got to get going. Um, if you're serious... Mull it over and get back to me. I'll do that. Let's get the announcements out of the way. Some vandal has once again added a D to Livingstone Bakery. Now, Mr. Livingstone is not amused. Next, we are looking for somebody to man the boom at the primary school. Now, this position was previously held by Timmy. But it seems that he may be suffering from a sleep disorder due to that uh, unfortunate incident with the windscreen. Did you like the casserole Denise made? Yes. <laughs> now, we've had yet another anonymous complaint about the guinea fowl. Now, come, people. We all know what Neville has been through. I've only got one ball. But don't break that. You can't tell everybody about that. Everybody. I'm just telling oh, Ryan. Everybody. Greg, would you perhaps like to lead this meeting? No, no, Ms. Hartford, sorry. Go on. Great. And finally, some good news. <sighs> Look, we all know about the untimely death of the president of the Kelvin Community Watch, Daniel Murray. However, I am delighted to introduce you to his son, 
and heir to the proverbial throne, <laughs> Mr. Ryan Murray. Ryan, a, a few words, if you would. A few words. Well, I'm, I'm very happy to be here. I feel it's, it's what my father would have, would have wanted. And I'm very happy to be here. How's it? Hi. Paul, have you met Ryan? Oh, How's it's it? an honour. Yeah. How's it? Now, um, Ryan and I were just discussing the Alice Falcon situation. Yeah. Now, he has completed phase one of the operation, but I think it is time for us to start getting our hands dirty. And to be perfectly honest, Shelley, Mrs. Hartford, I don't think I should be involved. You are president of the watch. Yeah, ab about that, I think I might, I might just need a little bit more time to reconsider. It's not, it's not that I'm not grateful, it's just I, d I don't know anything about watching. You know, Ryan, when your father's lungs started to give and he was having those dreadful coughing fits, I sometimes had to get a bucket to prevent him from stewing on all those piles of saliva. I mean, the stuff was coming out of him by the litre. That's gross. Don't be insensitive, Paul. My point is that you now have the opportunity to give back for the fact that you were not there at the end. I think she's right. Anyway, this is men's work. I'll leave the two of you to work out how you're going to do this. I've got to go. I know she's scary, OK? But if you just do what she says, It'll be fine, I promise. You, you know, you know the, the thing about us people here in Calvin, Ryan, is we don't take crap from nobody, you know? And that, that print out on Sunnyway has been giving us crap by the bucket loads, you know? That, that's the thing. People like us, you know, we clean up good. Shoot people. You're gonna shoot her? No, 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 I don't want to shoot her. She's 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 hot, you know. I know. I may have lied to Mrs. Hartwood when I said I know how to use this thing. How'd you use it? You just pull the trigger. Are you sure that's a safe place to keep it? Yeah, I'll keep all my valuables down my trousers. Get it? <laughs> valuables, trousers. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. <clears throat> Anyway, um, I'm going to take my bike for a wash now. It's yeah. a scooter. Uh, technically, it's it's it's, it's a it's a bike. You know. Daniel Murray, um, I'm unable to take your phone call at this time. Please leave a message and I will get back to you shortly. Hi Ryan, it's Paul from KCW. I have a plan. We need to meet tomorrow midday at the back of the community center. Yeah, and you should change that answering machine message. It's a bit weird, because your dad's dead. Anyways, see you tomorrow, buddy.
General Daniel Murray here. I'm unable to take your phone call at this time. Please leave a message and I will get back to you shortly. Oh my God! Snap! Snap! <laughs> wow! Yeah. Uh, How are you though, you know? Fine. Listen, I'm gonna cut to the chase. I spoke to Mrs. Hartford and, and she got me up to speed, you know, and, and may I just say that whole under the cover thing, inspired. Yeah. But there's a long road yet. Yet what? There's a long road yet. Yet what? You can't just end a sentence with yet, something has to come after. In good proper English, you can, though. Ah, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. I, I got 60% for English. Wow. Yeah. Uh, listen, we've really got to penetrate this operation, hey? I'm going to penetrate her operation. <laughs> <laughs> That's... Woohoo! <laughs> penetrate her operation. <laughs> 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 so, uh, what are we going to do? We need to come up with a plan of action. You know, no more tea and cookies with the enemy, no. Plan of action to make this place seem unsafe. You know, nobody wants to live in a space where somebody can climb over the wall easy, you know? Yeah, I'm not sure I follow you. We, we, we pick up a stone and throw it through a window. She's got a kid, it could terrify him. Look, th these are details, okay, details. I, I don't want to stand on your toes. I mean, you are the boss. Look, I, I've been running this plan through my head for the last few nights, day after day, you know, and and we can do this. I just need you, you in. You ray my ass. I thought you said you didn't smoke. Are you serious? You did. You know, I couldn't shake it until it just clicked. That sour old racist, Daniel Murray. Oh, don't speak dead of the mean. I'm... Are you taking your pulse ball? Yeah, I'm taking my pulse, or you taking your pulse, Alison Falcon. I'm curious. What was your plan? Seducing me into getting a new buyer? <laughs> sort of. Idiot. You gave me your number. Hey, Devon. What position do you play? Don't talk to him. I played fly half. It's not even the same sport. Is mental illness contagious? You are not a nice person. You have no idea. If I see you near me or my son ever again, I will cut your throats and eat you. Was the boss? No. Yeah. You are the boss. I just wanted to check with Sheriff was okay. I hope you're doing the right thing. Look, we've been going on with this again over and over in our heads for hours and, and hours. Nothing can go wrong. Tim the Falcon is on. Okay. So, uh, we're gonna enter the property exactly there in exactly plus minus 0 0.32 minutes. And we're gonna get out in exactly plus minus 0 0.5 minutes. Five minutes? Is that enough? I don't know. What do you think? Let's say seven and a half. Yeah, but you got to say the zero. Zero, seven and a half minutes. Oh, that's good, that's good. No. Look, I, I, don't, I don't know if it's too early to say this, but I really dig you. Yeah, yeah, yeah me too, man. Okay. Me too. Phew. Okay, that's good.
we gotta throw it through the window. Then we gotta make some robber sounds, and then we're gonna get out of here as quickly as we got in and out, you know? Okay, okay. I'm gonna go first. One, I know the lay of the lay. Yeah, uh, uh, I am telling you now. Ryan has the idea. Yeah, hi. Kelly Kuala Munol. My father always used to say that all that is necessary for evil to triumph is that good men do nothing. And let me tell you, we have good men here who have taken the bullet for us by standing up for what is right. We salute you. I'm over the wall, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm crawling around, and I'm thinking, there's yeah, somebody here. And this guy has got a gun in his hand, and, he, and he's aiming it at, at Ryan, my buddy, and he shoots. And I'm, I managed to jump into the air, and I got my bum in the way, and I got shot in the bum. Sure. So I took a bullet in the bum for my buddy. I'm going to go to him. Okay, yeah, right. Right. Ryan. Hello. Hello. Ryan. Hey. You all right? Yeah, I live. You didn't lose anything, did you? It's all there. <laughs> Poor, I'm, I'm really sorry. No, it, it happened in the line of fire. I, it, it happened to our type. Yeah. 
gonna hit the road. I gotta, gotta walk home. Looks like my old man's car wants to join him. <laughs> All right. Uh, Ryan, uh, you know, my bike's been here since the other night, and I was wondering, would you like to give me a lift home? It'd be an honor. <laughs>